solar eclipse happens when the sun and the moon align. And when the moon blocks the sun completely 100%, we call this the path of totality. Now, the April 8th path of totality will run from Texas and continue to make its way northeastward into the Midwest, into New York, and then into Maine. Unlike 2017, when the path of totality passed through parts of our area, this year's eclipse will only be a partial eclipse. It will start on Monday, April 8th at 1.56 p.m. and end at 4.27 in the afternoon. The Grand Strand will be able to see around 70% of the sun covered by the moon at the height of the eclipse, and it won't last long. Even though we won't see total totality, we will see some effects. By 3.13 p.m., the partial eclipse will reach its peak. While there won't be any noticeable darkening of the sky, it's still worth checking out if you have eclipse glasses. Remember, you're looking at the sun, so if you're going to watch the eclipse, it's important to protect your eyes by wearing eclipse-safe glasses. If you don't want to spend money for them, you can make them at home. Just grab a shoebox, cut two small holes on one side of the box, then add a piece of aluminum foil and place it over one of the holes, then poke a small hole into the foil. Next, add tape to a white piece of paper and attach it inside back of the box. Then, add a lid on top and voila! You made your own eclipse viewer. Here's how it works. With your back towards the sun, look through the open hole. Light will pass through that small hole in that aluminum foil to the back of the box. And during the eclipse, you'll be able to safely watch the event unfold. Remember, the peak will only last 4 minutes and 28 seconds at 70% totality. And after this, our next eclipse here in the United States won't happen until August 23rd of 2044. Matt Bullock, WNBF News.